Hello YouTubers, Reloading Bench back with you again. This is not reloading related, uh, but it is Reloading Bench related. We finally got the hammered Verde Green paint that will go on this particular vise. And uh, you may recall, or maybe not, um, I had to pop the pin out of one of these. And these are the original jaws. I found replacement jaws online that look pretty awesome. And I think I'm going to go with these as opposed to the originals. So I'm okay with, with that swap. Plus it also makes up for, if you recall, which side is it on? I think it's, where, where was it? This side, where you've got a whole bunch of shaving going on right there. You know, this is decent, this is not, so... Again, character from past lives, and uh, this came with so much cosmoline on, thus the acetone. And I will give the cast iron a good acetone bath before said painting. So uh, these also have a uh, hole in the back, so I will put the pin in the hole in the jaw so that everything fits like that. What I also found, and I'll probably have to do a, a second video, is uh, are these. And these are the equivalent of the magnetic slash, what's the right phrase? Uh, these are copper, by the way. Um, and it looks like they could use a little cleaning, which I will give them. I will heat gun this off and, uh, I might polish. I might clean and polish. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But the idea behind these is when you have a softer thing that you need to protect, you put these on. And what will happen is... I will bend these, 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 what would you call these? These tips, these wings, these side pieces. Uh, and it looks like there is a hook on each side that, you know, there's some play in each, in the original as well as the replacements. So. I will make sure that those are within a particular whatever. So I will clean them before I do this. That uh, sounds like I'm fucking mumbling, which I am a little bit. Uh, so what I will do, what I will do, oh, this one has a, this one has an interesting bend already. Oh, they both have an interesting bend already. Uh, I wonder what that's from and if they're supposed to. So, depending on which one of these I put on which side, which it technically shouldn't matter, uh, I will probably have to take, I don't know how bendable this stuff is. Eh, it's pliable. Uh, I will probably uh, put this together, or put it in a, yeah, I don't know, it has to be this vise. Because, once I do put it together... And figure out which side is which side i will then tap with a rubber mallet these down so they conform to the sides of the the vise and again it's meant for softer metal kind of stuff whereas today you'll have a magnetic uh, rubberized version but again this was made for something long 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 time ago long long time ago so kind of cool uh and i think it'll look really cool once I, I shine it up in fact what i'll probably do is just take the wire brush and just do this real quick to see what it'll look like because obviously this has already been shined up so back in a minute and that was a no-brainer uh that's the wire brush i don't know if the camera's picking it up 
and that is the uh, polishing wheel. So uh, we will polish wheel these two things. Polish wheel, then I'll take the rubber mallet and kind of tap that down to make it form fitting. <clears throat> then we will take this off. We will cover all the stuff we don't want to paint. And then we will paint. Soon to be done. More later. Hello, YouTubers. Reloading Bench back with you once again on this beautiful weekend Saturday. And we're going to do a paint update. Paint and... Uh, paint and... What are these called? Soft jaws. You know, kind of like the magnetic rubber. Which I'll probably get anyway. Uh, but these were bent, formed and bent. To... Uh, when the jaws are in there to uh, lock into place and I think those came out quite nice and we are curing this paint we have another day before it's fully cured I think uh, I love the color uh, I think it came out exceptionally well uh, it's got a very I, I like it better on the rougher cast this hammer tone verde green on the rougher casting than I do on you know the real smooth smoothness of the uh, of the steel. So, uh, but yeah, it came out really good. I'm debating what color to paint the Wilton: white, black, possibly gold. Some of the colors, I don't know. Some of the letters, rather. Uh, put things back together, but uh, like I said, another. Another day of uh, fully curing. Uh, I think the, the, the paint came out, uh, I'm going to say, exceptionally well. Hopefully I didn't just ding that. Uh, Murphy's Law. Uh, I think the paint came out exceptionally well uh, across the, uh, the whole project. Ugh, it's heavy. It's a heavy thing to be uh, maneuvering around. And I will touch that up because it looks like I got a little boo-boo there. Um, again, uh, it's been drying, uh, it's got another 12 hours to go, um, uh, but I'll probably do another 24 and then we'll do, uh, assembly. So no hurry, but, uh, it's looking much more colorful. Love, love the color. Uh, obviously masked off as much as I could to keep the paint from getting on, uh, certain areas. Same thing in here, same thing in here, uh, and again, yeah, I'm very happy with uh, how it looks, the coverage, the, again, the whole texture. I think whoever owned this before tried to do something with this rear cone that I could not get off, and I decided not to hammer it off, so I'll put the pin back in, the two pins, um, I have to make one pin, and uh, when I put everything back together in the next day or so, but... Uh, it's looking good. Uh, again, I'm, I'm liking how it turned out. So a lot better than uh, a couple weeks ago. That's it for now. Good morning, YouTubers. We'll call this the Sunday morning of a couple videos. Uh, it was a good busy weekend. We're going to call this not quite done because the one last thing which I have not yet decided on, and I talked about in a previous segment, is what I'm going to do with the letters. My leading thought is to go with gold and I don't know if I want to use something like this pen so I'm still debating or a brush a little worried about my shaky hands with a brush so uh, and one of the things that I have to figure out thanks to my son who aged this new piece of steel kicked it around on the ground to make it look somewhat like that piece of steel only not as aged it's longer because I have to figure out how I'm going to do these these two heads and one idea is to heat this with a torch glowing hot and then hammer it to create a little mushroom head uh, then flip it around obviously insert it in the other side flip it around do the same thing the other thing I was thinking about was taking the welder and just tacking on a head and then uh, grinding slash filing that down to 
something very similar to this. So haven't decided. So those are minor details, minor, minor details. And I will be uh, ordering a custom plate from Inline Fab so I can put it on my uh, my flush plate mounting system that I usually have my presses on that's off to the left right there that you can't see right now. Uh, everything is assembled and uh, functioning quite nicely. This thing is so, if I could not hit the camera, so smooth, just, just like clockwork. And I'm about to hit the tripod, so I will stop there. Uh, things came out great. The uh, pipe jaws, the pins for the pipe jaw, pipe jaws, all four. Uh, those, I, I like the way they look in terms of the just the raw metal, the blued finish. So did nothing there but uh, wire wheel. And obviously now you can see the... Uh, whatever these are called, soft metal clamps, I guess. Uh, here is the, the new and I will hit the, the bench here in a second. Here is the new, here are the new jaws. And they lock in. Uh, obviously, they're not lined up. That's a little better. Uh, there is some play to this. The uh, the front of the jaw. So they do come pretty close. Uh, close enough for me. And for my needs. So uh, I will call that a success. A win. And for those asking, are these interchangeable to each side? Eh, kind of not really. <sighs> you know, in, in theory, yes. But you'll notice how much play there is on this one. Versus, hopefully I'm doing this right, versus this one. So, there is a left and there is a right. and Maybe I should mark them. And again, I'm not going to lose a whole lot of sleep over that. But uh, pretty much done. Uh, oh, and I spent more time doing this little chromify than you than I'm going to even wi be willing to admit. And part of the reason it just didn't pop in super super quick and easy was because of all the reshaping I had to do to get it back to a somewhat of a circle uh, in getting it out. Uh, as I said, this. This end cap, normally there's a visible line here, but whoever owned this vise, and again, I had to replace one of the pins. I don't remember which side was the original pin. So there's the two pins. But whoever had the vise before me, obviously, because you can see the, the original, what I would call raw finish here, similar to this. And then here's really smooth. So somebody took a grinder and a sander, because they didn't apparently like the line, and uh, that's too bad, but uh, it adds to the character. So uh, everything works. Whoops. Need to be careful of th these two. Uh, the other one, not so much. And doing stuff with the camera in front of me is challenging. And now, now we have a lock, or at least somewhat of a lock. But I uh, need to be a little careful with this one so that it doesn't uh, scratch things up. But uh, I'm going to call this, like I said, almost done. Done enough for the video purposes. Uh, again, uh, I'll finish up probably with the gold, which is... Mm, maybe accents the uh, the copper brassness of uh, of these soft metal jaws and I think gold will be a nice soft touch on here and then uh, the inline fab custom plate so maybe in a month or 
six weeks or whenever after I order the plate, I will uh, show what the vice looks like, painted, finished, and mounted in, in the space I'm going to show you right now. Good evening, YouTubers. Reloading Bench back with you once again. I uh, wasn't planning on this ending, I guess, but uh, timing is right because I've not yet published, I think, what I called the painted version of this. So the last of the finishing touches, uh, as you uh, can see, I did some gold accent, played around with it a little bit, not sure if I'm going to do more or what, but I think the gold came out nice. It accents the soft jaws uh, quite nicely. And the other thing, if you recall, maybe, maybe not, we now have a homemade handle. So I tried to weather it as well. I think you'll see in a previous video, my son took it out and stomped it on the uh, pavement and gave it a weathered look. Uh, and then me heating this up and peening it. On both ends and then having to grind a little bit added to it so uh, it's got character that is for sure and some gold as well there so uh, it is ready for a uh, inline fabrication custom plate to mount right there on my bench next to my other uh, I was going to say press next to my other vice. <laughs> too many presses, too many vices. Uh, loving this. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff.